What is up guys, Arkaz here with another After Effects tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to create sort of a realistic camera movement within After Effects and how to add that to your Black Ops footage to give it a realistic camera movement so as if someone's actually holding the camera and we get really nice camera movement and realistic movement on the camera so first off what we're going to do is we're going to make a new composition make it to your settings we'll just name this wiggle example oh. example click OK and then if we go to file import no and then we're going to import your clip this is just an example for today's tutorial and we just drag that onto our timeline so first off what we're going to do to create this realistic camera movement is if we go to layer no null object <laughs> and once we've got the null object there we want to go to layer again new camera and click OK now with the camera selected what you want to do is hit P on the keyboard and that brings up the position now once you're holding ALT hit the little stopwatch button and then in this section here type wiggle open bracket how many times do we want it to wiggle per second so we'll say five and then comma how much do we want it to wiggle so we'll say about 30 you can always have a play around with different settings see what works best for you and then just hit close comma close bracket even <laughs> and once that's done what you want to do is see this spiral button here this is the pick whip tool what that does basically it just connects layers to other layers so what you want to do with this pick whip is just drag it onto the camera and so that means that the null object is now attached to the camera and then we want to do the same for the clip wiggle example if we just pick pick whip that to the null object itself so they're all connected to each other now once we play you can see now that we've got this really cool wiggle but you can see round the edges you can sort of see the black lines around the side and that's because it's wiggling the clip so we can see the background of it so to solve this all you want to do is just make your footage a little bit bigger and that's all you have to do so now that we've got the basic wiggle down we can also add just a quick colour correction so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to layer or oh, actually we'll go to effect colour correction go down to curves ok we're in curves now and what we're going to do is just drop this line down just a little bit to make it a little bit darker and then if we go on the red channel if we bring the red up a tiny little bit if we go down to the green channel now drop the green channel down a little bit and then we go to the blue channel and drop the blue down a little bit as well maybe we can go back up to the red just bring the red down a little bit yeah that's looking pretty cool and then the next thing that we want to do is we just want to add a nice little vignette around the side so what we're going to do is new solid make it a black solid or a very dark solid and then what you want to do is click on this button here which is the circular mask tool or the ellipse mask tool and then just draw a circle over your solid and then go down to your mask settings and then instead of add hit subtract 
and if you haven't got these options here if you select F4 that will bring those up options up if you haven't got them already so once that changed to subtract if you select the mask and then hit F on the keyboard that brings up the feather and you just want to increase the feather just enough so it's nice and nice and soft and maybe we could maybe increase the size of this vignette a little bit cool that's looking pretty good at the moment so there's just a quick tutorial on how to add realistic camera movement to your black ops footage and also how to add just a quick color correction to your footage so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you later